Hello, this is an introduction to astronomy, our place in the heavens from chapter one, the essential cosmic perspective. At the conclusion of this lecture, the student will be able to define astronomy and compare and contrast it to the pseudoscience of astrology. We're also going to describe Earth's place in the universe by identifying our, co our cosmic address. Okay, so whenever you start talking about the universe, uh, the universe is the totality of all space, time, matter, and energy. What that actually means is, is you're looking at not just the objects within it, but the processes that take place within it. Uh, a perfect example is gravity. Gravity is part of our universe. Even though it's not an object, it's a force that basically binds a lot of things. Okay? Well, whenever you start talking about the science of astronomy, astronomy is the study of the universe. It's the study of the objects within it and all the laws that govern the universe. Laws like the laws of free falling bodies, how, how objects fall um, in gravity fields, how time interacts in gravity fields. That's what astronomy is, okay? Whenever you start talking about cosmology, cosmology, uh, like Stephen Hawking is a cosmologist, you start talking about the, the origins and the evolution and what's going to happen to our universe based on our current observations. So they're very much alike, astronomy and cosmology, but they, they actually focus on specific things, and that's what makes them different, okay? So in this course, what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at the universe, okay? You're going to be looking at all sorts of things, and of course, we're going to be um, seeing how things appear from Earth. That's, that's the primary focus. Okay, whenever you start talking about astrology, this is what most people think. Most people think that, you know, oh, I'm going to take astronomy, we're going to learn about our sign and everything. That's not the case in this class. Uh, we will not be doing much with astrology. What you guys are going to see is astrology is going to, you know, I'm going to basically tell you how you get your sign, but we're not going to focus on much with that. We are going to look at constellations, we're going to look at things like that, but astrology is actually what is called a pseudoscience. It's fake. Okay, it, it has no aspects of science, so we're going to basically keep that out of this course. Now, as you can see by the cartoon, which is very, very true, um, as astronomy tends to have lots and lots of math. Well, fortunately for you, we're going to be reducing the amount of math, but you are going to see how math paints a picture for things that we can't see. And that's what's going to be so awesome, is I'm going to show you guys how math can basically say, wow, I can't see that object, but the math makes it vis uh, visible, okay? Okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to look at this and I want you to pause the video right here. You are going to use the following terms to replace with actual names if you know them, and you're gonna put them in orders from smallest to largest. So what I want you to kind of imagine is, is like, okay, I am going to write a postcard, okay? I'm sending a postcard off to someone that's within our universe, so like here on Earth. You're sending it for, to someone here on Earth. You are outside of our observable universe, so you're going to put their full cosmic address on your postcard, okay? So go ahead, pause the video, and basically address that now. Okay. So what we're looking at now is, is we're going to actually cover some of this and say what can go on and where is what is our place in the universe. Of all the scientific discoveries that we, we've attained to this date, one stands out very, very clear. Okay, We are not the central and Earth is not special. Okay, We inhabit no unique place in the universe. And I know that people are going to have trouble with that, but that's really what you've got to start to look at. It's like, look, we're not the center. And then we're going to talk about things that are going to absolutely blow your mind on this concept of us not being the center. And then the question becomes, well, where is the center? Oh, you're going to love that discussion whenever we get to it. Okay? So we are coming to that. So, of course, whenever you start talking about our location, of course, we are located on Earth. Well, Earth is but one of the eight planets orbiting the average yellow orange star called the Sun. Um, so, of course, Earth, with our next part of our cosmic address, we are part of the solar system. Uh, we will be discussing later in the course the difference between a planet and a dwarf planet. But please do realize that we now only have eight planets and then multiple, multiple dwarf planets, as we'll talk about later. 
Well, with that, of course, you go to our sun, and our sun is nothing more than a star. But in that, in that neighborhood, what you're going to do is you're going to basically say our sun, which is part of our solar system, is actually part of what is called the solar interstellar neighborhood. Now, our closest star um, that we have is Proxima Centauri and Alpha Centauri. They're kind of right there next to each other. They're what are called a binary star system. So they were about the same distance. Well, those, those two stars are 4.3 light years away. Well, that's our closest star. So you're looking at Earth, solar system, solar interstellar neighborhood. The next part of our address is the Milky Way galaxy. Now, one thing that's really unique about this is if you look, where are we in the Milky Way galaxy? Well, we are simply that little dot right there. Very unique. Look how small we are just in our galaxy alone. That is our entire solar system in that one little point. Okay, And if you were to look and say all the stars that you see in the night sky, this is all you are seeing with just the naked eye. We have to, of course, have telescopes to see more. But very, very small portion of just our Milky Way. And you think, okay, well, outside the Milky Way, what else is there? Well, of course, now you've got the local group. Okay, So you're going through this address and you're starting to put together that, wow, we are actually part of, a, we're such a small part of such bigger things. Well, you've got the Messier objects, you've got the um, new general catalog of nebula and clusters, NGCs. So this is what is called our local group. Our galaxy is part of another local group of galaxies. Well, after you go there, then you start to say, okay, what's our next portion of our, of our cosmic address? We're part of what is called the Virgo supercluster. Okay, or simply the local supercluster. This basically is a concentration of galaxies which contain the Virgo cluster in addition to the local group, which in turn contains the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies. So what you can do, what you can see is we're going from very small, we're very small in our address to getting much bigger. Okay, it's like saying your city, or excuse me, your street, then your city, uh, then it just keeps on growing and growing and growing. And last but not least is our observable universe, okay? So you're looking at, we are part of the observable universe and this is where we actually finish, okay? The observable universe consists of galaxies and other matter that can in principle be observed from Earth um, because light and other, and other signals from these objects has had time to reach Earth. So all we can see is we're part of that address. There are things on the outside here which we cannot see yet because time hasn't surpassed long enough to allow the light to reach us, okay? So very interesting aspect right there, and that's what's really kind of cool about this. You guys are going to love just – it's going to blow your mind whenever you start looking at, at this more in depth, okay? So what you basically have is you have our cosmic address. Of course, we are here on Earth. Uh, then we are part. The Earth is part of the solar system. The solar system is part of the, the solar interstellar neighborhood. The Milky Way galaxy, the local galactic group, the Virgo supercluster, the local superclusters, and last but not least, the observable universe. Okay, so that is our cosmic address. This concludes this lecture. Um, what we're going to do is in the next lecture, we're going to move on with basic observations of the night sky.